We're going to talk briefly about the laws and rules regulating how orchids get their name. And we're going to look at some of the various big genera of orchids that we grow and I use in our breeding programs. Some of these are very unique, some of them are very strange, but they all have to follow the rules of the International Nomenclature Committee. We're going to look at the Cattleya orchids and the Cattleya Alliance, those orchids which have similar growth patterns and which can be interbred with the Cattleya. We're going to look at the dendrobium and the multiplicity of multiple uh, forms that we can find throughout the world. We're going to look at other plants that come from the high mountains which have been bred so you can't believe the size of the flowers. And then we're going to look at some of the strange ones that come from the cloud forest and actually become the real aficionado's dream plant to grow.